Hey guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures. All the dual battery materials are starting to come in and I just got a box from Slee uh, that has our battery trays in it. So we have a main battery tray upgrade and the auxiliary battery tray. Um, you really only have two options when you're working with the Land Cruiser 100 series, at least in America, and that is the Slee off-road trays or some sort of DIY type of system. We're gonna open this up and see what we got in here. All right, we got one package here. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Ooh, we got a sweet sticker. I don't have to go on the cruiser. Another pack of stuff. All right, we got something in here, something big. First thing we got. All right, here we go. So this is the auxiliary battery tray. Um, and the battery goes here. So look at that, it says Slee in the bottom of it. Powder coated real nice, looks pretty good. It looks really good. Um, so this is gonna hold a battery here and then have the ability to put a compressor or any other kind of things here. And then you also have the ability to mount your electrical, um, dual battery electrical components out here. So things like your relay or switch and fuses and things like that. Um, you can see this is raised up, so I'm thinking how this is gonna fit in the cruiser. Um, you couldn't actually do a bigger battery because you have this ridge. Um, I was looking at maybe doing a bigger battery here. But what you're getting here. This is what the tray, the tray looks like. It's very, you know, it's very solid. So here's the pack that came with the auxiliary tray. Let's open that up here. Sock 008, second battery tray with compressor mount, fits 1998-07 Land Cruiser and LX470, includes a hardware kit. So we got some good instructions here for putting everything together. Um, we've got a bag of bolts and washers and some spacers and things. Okay, all right, so these are the battery bolts, tie down bolts, and battery tie down, pretty cool, it says sleek. It's really nicely etched in there. And the powder coating's really pretty good. One more item here. And these are some additional brackets. I'm not exactly sure where these go, but all that together gives you the place to mount your battery and a compressor or other accessory that you could conceivably fit in there. Also from Slee for the dual battery, um, we got this upgrade tray um, that allows you to put a 31 group battery into the start battery location. The really great thing about the 31 group battery is it is a humongous battery with tons of power. Um, and that's why I've been looking at swapping the the auxiliary and the primary because you can really get days and days out of the out of that start battery uh, if it were your auxiliary. So let's take a look what we got in here. Oh wow. Okay, this is this is very heavy. This is slightly different um, coating than the um, auxiliary tray. The auxiliary tray had a really shiny, smooth coating, and this is a matte coating. But man, this is extremely thick heavy duty also says slee in it very heavy heavy steel really thick gauge so that's what that guy looks like so this is quite a bit more heavy than the than the other than the auxiliary tray which makes a lot of sense because it is a big heavy battery wow this is this is really light this is feels like steel, this actually feels like aluminum. It feels fairly light, but it is very heavy gauge. And you can tell that's, that has got to be aluminum. You get a tiny neck in there, but that's not a big deal. Um, but nice tray that should fit that battery. So this is Sock 009, the off-road primary upgrade battery tray. Fits 9807 Land Cruiser LX470. Hardware kit. So this is the hardware kit. So 
some instructions in here, which we'll take a look at. We've got some mill spec, kind of your standard mill spec battery terminals. Um, then this also comes with these battery terminal extensions. Um, I think, you know, one of the reasons that they do this is to allow you um, to add different, you know, accessories to these different lugs. But the other thing about it is on the Land Cruiser, there's a fuse uh, link box that's part of the battery attachment. And I think this gives it enough clearance to mount that right onto here and then still be able to use these kind of standard lugs. Spacers and washers and lock washers and nuts and assuming that's to mount all of this. I think what I'm seeing here is you probably use the stock battery tie downs uh, along with this and this. Um, and then it looks like we have some sort of weather stripping. So you can find these, uh, these battery trays on sleeoffroad.com. Um, and they have lots of cool stuff for mostly for uh, Toyotas. So next you'll see us installing this uh, in the Land Cruiser. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.